The keyword tracking module is the most important module when it comes to keyword optimization. This is the page where the keywords you are tracking are listed. This is also where you will come to get the key metrics on your tracked keywords, as well as research any new keyword ideas. You can select the country that you want to examine in the upper right corner of the screen, as well as the device if you are researching an iOS app. The next section will show you how many characters are currently available in your app name. Since the keywords in your app name carry the most weight, you will want to use at least one or two important keywords in your app name. You will also be able to see when the app was last updated, and you can import your current keyword list by clicking on the Get All Keywords from App Store link. Below the app information section, you will see the keyword history for the last keyword you researched and the top 10 apps that are currently ranking for that keyword. To see the history graph and to see the top 10 apps that are ranking for a keyword, simply click on the keyword in your keyword list. Select the dates that you want to research here. Next is your keyword tracking list. You can manually add any keyword to your list by typing the keyword into the search box here. If you are tracking a lot of keywords, you can use the keyword search box to find the keyword. And you can filter the list by the following criteria. Use the export button to download the list as a CSV file. For each keyword, there is a link to the search suggestions module and the related keywords module, so you can get more keyword ideas based on this keyword. The editable notes field will allow you to add notes about each keyword for future reference. You can remind yourself to add this keyword to your next update, or if you already tested this keyword, you can add that note here too. The next columns contain our proprietary keyword metrics. These metrics are vital to understanding how to choose the right keywords. Search score shows how many times that keyword is searched in the store. However, it doesn't give you an exact search number. Search scores are scaled from 0 to 100, with 100 being the most searched keyword. If you're interested, as this video is being recorded, Snapchat is the most searched for keyword, which means it has a search score of 100. The next column is the chance score, and the chance score is the likelihood of the current app to rank in the top 10 for that keyword. The way this works is that we check all the apps that are ranking in the top 10 for this keyword. Then our algorithm takes a look at certain key features that show how competitive this keyword is. If the top 10 apps that are ranking for this keyword are stronger than your app, then you won't have a very good chance of ranking. But if they are not as strong as your app, then you will have a pretty good chance of ranking. Before we move on, I just want to mention a quick note about using our metrics to select keywords. Many people who are new to ASO choose keywords based on search score alone. They think that more traffic will mean more downloads, and this is not the case because more traffic also means more competition. Apps that have more downloads and more reviews, among other things, will rank higher than you for these highly searched keywords. Therefore, you need to select keywords that your app has a good chance of ranking in the top 10 for. It is better to rank number two for a keyword that gets some traffic than to rank number 450 for a keyword that gets a billion searches a day. Nobody is gonna scroll to app number 450 to find your app. Also remember that what makes a good keyword is download intent. In other words, if somebody searches for this keyword, are they looking to download an app like yours? All right, so that's the basics of how to select keywords. To learn more, be sure to sign up for Mobile Action Academy. All right, back to the keyword tracking module. After that, total apps shows you the total number of apps that are ranking for that keyword. If you are trying to decide between two keywords that have a similar search score and chance score, then total apps can be the tiebreaker. In that case, the keyword with fewer competing apps will be a better keyword to target. Then the keyword ranking column shows your app's current rank for that keyword. Next, you can customize the color of this keyword so it's easier to recognize later. For example, you could color all of the keywords that you want to test next blue. Finally, if you want to delete a keyword, simply click on the trash icon. The other tabs will also show you search ads data, your competitor's keywords, and organic download estimations by keyword. So that's the keyword tracking module. It is one of the modules that you'll be using the most. So get familiar with it because it is how you will increase your keyword rankings on the app stores.